The ferries are now five years late and cost more than twice the projected price. The Auditor General in Scotland was unable to review crucial documents. Welcome and see if things move as fast as they did last month. It was a grim programme in September. This is the sort of crime I've investigated often, but never with such vivid images. We are signing the contract for two new ferries and they will receive that award from the Scottish Government. They seem to have no ability to understand the harm they do to other people. Didn't even seem to be big enough for anybody to call the police or anything like that. A lot of stuff that's coming in now and of course we'll give you a great deal more in the update programme. We were told everything was published. Numerous investigations later, the BBC discovered new, quite devastating information. You could call what we saw last night insider dealing. So how many of these? 200... 200... Yeah, I can tell you. That's 280 boxes 288, like 288, and that's a total weight of five and a half tonnes. Um, one slip-up, or was it a slip-up? We saw the highlighted page after highlighted page of the bid that copied the document that no one else had seen. And you're pretty clear that there are some people who do know something about this. The, whoever did this will have blabbed or word would have got out. I think the, the, the way it's been planned, that, that clearly these people who have been involved, without doubt, had mentioned it to someone else. It might be the same gang. Here he is coming towards the security camera. Our reconstruction created a huge response. Some very strong leads emerge from the programme, and as a result, detectives now think they know their identity. A big kid did it and ran away. Not at all. Well, who did it then? I, I didn't say don't go ahead. That is not to say I was the, the minister taking the actual decision. A quick reminder of some of the faces that we've shown you tonight. Other numbers are on CFAX page 621. Rest assured, we really are on the way to cracking several of these crimes, so don't have nightmares. Do sleep well. Good night.